we are entering our third summer of the infestation of the spotted wing drosophila. And we found that it can be quite serious in wild blueberry, especially toward the end of the harvest time. You wouldn't think that a small little fly, hundreds of which I have in these vials, could be so destructive. So we've learned quite a lot in the last two and a half years of researching this insect pest. And what we're going to show you today is how you can monitor the adult flies in the field. So we'll give you an idea of when they show up. And then also how you can determine whether infestation of the fruit by the larvae has started in your field so that you can plan control practices until you get a chance to harvest the crop. Hope you enjoy this video. Spotted wing Drosophila is an invasive species native to Asia. They were discovered in Maine in 2011, and females are able to lay eggs into blueberries and other soft berries from the time of first coloring through harvest, and can start laying eggs one day after emergence. Their life cycle lasts around 21 days. Additional information about trap use and field monitoring, including naked eye identification of males and traps, checking for eggs and fruit, placement of cups in the field, and life history including known host plants can be found on YouTube by searching Spotted Wing Drosophila Maine and online by searching Maine Extension Blueberry. Trapping. Spotted Wing Drosophila will lay eggs in red and blue blueberry fruit that is still maturing. Therefore, monitoring should begin as green berries begin to turn pink. For supplies, you will need one tablespoon of live yeast, four tablespoons of sugar, 12 ounces of water, some four to six foot stakes and large clamp holders for hanging cups, some one pint red solo cups with lids, and an electric drill or punch with a 1 8 inch punch size or drill bit. Hole size is important. If the hole is larger, you will trap all kinds of flies, making the identification much harder. Begin by drilling the holes in the cup all the way around. Make sure to leave a section unpunched or undrilled so the pouring of the contents is much easier. Mix the ingredients in a container, which is easy to carry. We often utilize recycled beverage containers like iced tea or milk. In the field, put 1.5 to 2 inches, or about 5 ounces, in each cup and replace weekly. In Maine, we have shown that the yeast sugar syrup Bait is much more effective at capturing spotted wing drosophila than apple cider vinegar during August and September. In cooler conditions, results suggest that the yeast mixture may not react as intensively and the vinegar may perform better. Traps should be hung in a shady area on the field edge in a shrub or small tree at chest height. A minimum of two traps per five acres should be deployed. Traps should be visited at least once per week, but preferably twice a week. During each visit, Fly samples should be collected from the traps, and then the trap should be emptied and replaced with fresh bait. Counting and identifying spotted wing drosophila. Adults have rounded abdomens that are pale yellow to light brown, and have dark brown, unbroken, horizontal stripes on the dorsal side. They have large, bright red eyes and sponging mouth parts with which they sponge up their food. The male flies can be easily distinguished from other vinegar flies by the single dark spot at the tip of each wing. The spotted wing drosophila can also be distinguished by two rows of spines on their forelegs. Female spotted wing drosophila are slightly larger than the males and lack wing spots. They can, however, be identified by their large, dark, and heavily serrated ovipositor with which they use to pierce the skin of their host fruit and lay their eggs. Salt Extraction Method Monitoring for larvae is done using the salt test. Collect at least a quart of ripe berries raked from several locations throughout the field but especially along the field edges. Place the berries in a resealable one gallon plastic bag. Spotted wing drosophila prefer to lay eggs in healthy, undamaged fruit rather than overripe damaged fruit, so it is unlikely that larva found would be another drosophila species. Mix a salt solution of a quarter cup of salt to four cups of water. Lightly crush the berries in a bag and add the salt solution. We use a wooden mallet. After one hour, pour the contents through a strainer with mesh large enough to allow larvae to pass, but large blueberry chunks not to. Rinse and dump into a black pan. 
Pour the contents back through a smaller, finer, one millimeter mash in order to reduce the levels of water present in the black pan. This makes it easier to see the larva and differentiate from other small sticks and seeds. This process also works for blueberry maggot fly. These flies are carrot shaped while spotted wing drosophila are tapered on both ends. Make sure to check the larva under a hand lens or scope. Larval monitoring should be conducted frequently as this pest can be explosive in their late summer buildup in a field. This video has demonstrated how to trap and identify adult spotted wing drosophila and how and when to utilize the salt extraction method. Check out the University of Maine Cooperative Extension website for fact sheets about this invasive pest.